Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got a little Halloween trick or treat treat box thing to show you today. Um, so I have said to my husband that I would make little treats for the kids at the school that he's at. So it's a brand new school, so there's only 34 children there. So I thought that's why I, I offered to do it. And they are all 14 up, 15, no 15 to 18. So um, these are, they, they contain no nuts and they are just nice little sweets. They're actually these which we, we, I say we, as in lots and lots of Chinese people love these. They're called White Rabbit, they're creamy candies and they remind me of a hard version of the milk bottles that we would get the penny sweets they taste just like that but as a hard form and they're lovely so they have them in here and they also have some pineapple drops as well but they are just these little kind of pouches that I've made really really simple to make and then I fussy cut one of the 12 by 12 sheets from the Fiesta Fever first edition paper pack with all these sugar skulls so every single one those are the same there those have got that one on They've got the one with the rose, and that one there's got another rose on the top. So there's four different styles. I've only got three, six, nine, twelve here, and I like I said, I've got 34 to make, and I'll probably make a few extras as well, just in case. And we're gonna, it's a boarding school, so these are all gonna be put on their pillows. I just thought it was a nice little kind of little thing. They're decorating up the halls and they're gonna watch a horror movie as well, which I thought was quite good. So I just thought I would share um kind of the the make with you so like I said it is very easy but it's quick and because I was making such a huge amount and I still am you kind of want to you know you want something that's going to look good but also actually not take you too much time so the most time consuming bit for me was fussy cutting my sugar skulls so they're the four different um, designs that I've got and I have the exact amount for those so I know I've got it all there and then I've been cutting all my cardstock so here I have all the pieces I need and to make one of these it's eight and a quarter by four now you do only get two out of a sheet of um, A4 or letter paper however you could easily get three you would just have to shrink yours down but I did shrink it down it was just then becoming too tiny this is just a really nice four by one um, you know kind of size so I didn't mind only being able to get two out of my cardstock I did go and buy a big pack of, bra of black cardstock for this anyway so yeah so four by eight and a quarter and then I'll go through I've just cut these from um, I've got another sheet to go but these are two and three quarters squared so they fit inside just the front one I mean by all means you can decorate both sides but you know they're just literally going to be ripped in two really quickly so I don't want to go too mad with um, decoration in that sense um, and these just go on the front panel there so I'm just gonna yeah just go through the scoring I've got some um, ribbon and some gold like twine there to do them up um, because again the ribbon is just an easy little fastening there so all you need is your piece of cardstock along the eight and a quarter inch side you want to score it three four seven and eight so really simple and then rotate it so that that heart that one inch is now on the, the right hand side and you're going to score it three all the way down okay and do that obviously on uh, you know however many you're going to do you might want to just have a little basket by your door for any trick-or-treaters you get you might want to do a few quick ones for some colleagues in work like I said they are quick so it's, it's just nice to do so you just then want to burnish all of those score lines um, I'm doing just one here but what I have been doing is I've done all them as a batch so I went and done all the scoring and then all of the burnishing then I went and stuck all the so rather than do one at a time um, you know do all those kind of stages um, and then it just makes that final piece really quick to do so along the bottom one inch piece here you just want to cut up all of these score lines just to that first score line so it's just simple box construction you're just creating or gift bag you're just creating that base then go up around the side and I've just taken that piece completely out and then just put a little wedge on the side and just remove that one there then with the two little squares that you've got here these one by one squares just take a little bit off each edge just removing that score line really just so you have there you can see the wedges that I've taken and again that one there you don't want to take anything off the longer pieces because that's your your you know your main uh, front and back base 
this is your sides. So if I just lie that down, that's what you should have. This little quarter inch tab here, and then these are your base pieces, there's your sides, um, your two main front and back, and there's your sides. Okay, so while it's flat, again, because I've been in that kind of batch <laughs> uh, making, I've then been sticking this down, and you want to stick it on the square that's closest to your quarter inch tab. You can by all means stick this on when you've put it all together, but I always find adding the, the decoration like this best to do when it's flat, and then you can apply pressure um, to it. So, like I said, that sits nicely in there, giving you a little one eighth of an inch border, like so. And then I'm just going to add a thin amount. You can use red tape, double sided tape, you know. You don't need to use your best stuff on things like this. Um, you know, they're just going to get chucked into little pumpkins and bags, and the kids just <laughs> will either hoard them for weeks because I know I used to do that with all my trick or treat sweets. I would hide them under my bed in a shoebox and not let anybody else have them. <laughs> um, but yeah, you don't want to. I don't. Well, I don't anyway want to use you know too much of my like good red tape and things like that so I'm just using my wet glue so now I'm just popping in the back first and then pop in my sides just let them kind of just tack down there and then just pop some glue on those and pop down for the back one I'm going to use my bone folder there just to apply some pressure inside let's use my ruler there so I can get right into the corners and I just seal down that base like so and then you can score down the sides but again I'm trying to keep this quick just pinch in like so so I just pushed it in and squeezed it down and it just gives you quite a nice side there anyway then once that's squeezed together I've just got my hole punch and just come down about half an inch in the middle. I've got these stripes so it's quite easy for me to kind of line up like so. Obviously you could punch an eyelet through there if you wanted to make them even more fancy but again I'm not doing that. Um, then I've got the, the sweets here. It fits quite a few in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. I think that's plenty. No, maybe it was seven because I can't put the ribbon through otherwise. But there you go, there's seven in there. Then just grab my ribbon and I'll uh, use this one here, this sugar skull. And then grab my little, I put these on foam just to give it a little bit of dimension. So just pop three of those on the back. And again, just line that up there. Obviously, you can decorate these any way you want, and, and any theme as well. I mean, these are great for birthdays, for little, you know, favours, even on a wedding table. You know, in the colours of your your wedding, they make lovely little favours as well. And then I just thread it through, bring them up together, and then grab a little bit of this gold, cut a little bit off there, bring it around the back, and you're basically knotting this piece to keep the ribbon together. I mean, you can just tie the ribbon in a bow if you want to, but this is just another nice way to keep those tails um, pointed upwards, which is quite a nice look. Tie it in a really, really tight knot so you keep that ribbon nice and closed and secure, like so, and then just pull them up again, just closing in, like so. Just take off any bits and then I'm just going to just tidy off my edges there and then with my lighter just very carefully seal the edges there and there you have it. Now that's real time so that's how long it took to do one. Um, like I said the fussy cutting, get this cut, get all your card cut, have it all lined up and just go along and um, it's, it is really quick. They took me no time at all to put together. So um, yeah, I think they they look really effective. They're gonna look good all together. I, I mean, yeah, I've suggested putting them on their beds, but they may well just have them in a big 
tub somewhere for them to just help themselves but yeah not even halfway yet but I'll get there anyway hope you've been like hope you've hope you've enjoyed this tutorial nice and quick one if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye